Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Ethereum. We're gonna be looking at the 90-day ROI and one-year ROI discretized monthly. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember, we do have the premium list at intothecryptoverse.com. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this is a chart. I believe the last time I showed this chart was back in April. And when we looked at this, I said, hey guys, we're probably coming up here soon on a local top, right? And, and, and I speculated back then that that run was very unlikely to get us to $10,000, but that the next one probably would, which we don't even know if that, that one started yet. But the, that one was probably gonna come short because we needed that, that general lull in the market that we get in the summer. And one of the interesting, interesting metrics that we can look at is the 90-day ROI. And the reason why I like this is because it, it can be somewhat helpful in trying to time you know, your entry into, into the market. Um, I do, I mean, I do think that if you're, if you don't own any Ethereum and you're trying to get super fancy on when you're first going to get your, your stack of Ethereum or your stack of Ether, you, you are playing a, a very dubious game indeed. But if you already have a sizable stack and you're just looking to maybe figure out when could be a time to add more, when would I not want to add more? One thing you can do is you can look at the data and say, well, what does the data tell us? What does the data tell us about Ethereum? Well, one interesting thing back then that I said was, hey guys, you know, Ethereum's trading at around $4,000 or so. We do expect this to kind of calm down here as we get into the summer because the 90-day ROI buying Ethereum going into the summer tends to not be that great on average. Now, sometimes it can be above one, sometimes it can be below one. But on average, the general idea is that it's probably around one, right? Like you're not, you're likely not going to see a a three x or a four x or, or a ten x or some, anything crazy like that over ninety days, um, especially not ten x any any ninety days at this point. More than likely, you're likely not going to see that going into the summer. Okay, and if you think about it, what was the price of Ethereum back in May? A lot of people say, well, Ethereum's been doing really great this summer. Well, I think, again, that is somewhat recency bias because people look at it and are measuring it from the $1,700 milestone. What I think they fell to, you know, what they, I think they don't think about is when you're talking about, say, the 90-day ROI from, you know, from, say, May, which is as far out as we can go because, again, June, July, and August, we can't go to September yet and look at June because we don't have all of September's data yet. But if you look at where we were in May, you know, we had a run up to $4,400 and we were trading in this range. And then if you go look at what actually happened, the 90 day ROI, if you bought in May on average, it's about one, right? This is what we speculated. Okay, if you look at say January and February, it was around two, meaning if you had bought in January every single day on average, and then let's say three months later, you sold every single day on average, then your ROI would have been approximately a 2X. But then I said, okay, going into the summer, I would not necessarily expect the same thing. Um, and so far, I mean, we've seen that play out in, in you know, the month of May. Had you bought Ethereum at that local high, your 90 day ROI would be around one, okay? It would not be anything super fancy. It would not be 3X or anything like that. Um, and we could look to say, well, could it be, you know, could it be a really nice number as we get into the summer? Because we do know that Ethereum hit a bottom here in July at around $1,700 or so. Well, it actually spent most of its time up in the, you know, the 22, 23, 2400. As you got into, as you got into say early June, we were still trading for $2,800, which isn't even really that far different than the current price today. So I don't think we can come to any conclusions quite yet on what the 90 day ROI will be from say June going till September, because in June, Ethereum spent a lot of its time, let's say between 2,400 up to 2,800. And then by the end of June, it was trading closer to 2,000. So the, 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 the average price in there is probably around 23 or 2,400 or something. And, and even if the price stays at around 3,200, you're still a far cry away from you know, a 2X or a 3X, right? You're, you're, you're looking at a very, 
nominal return on your investment over that 90 days. Again, crypto does spoil us because in some markets that would actually be a really great ROI. But we look at this and one of the things we can note is that there tends to be a lull in the, R in the, 90, day R in the 90 day ROI of Ethereum in the middle of the year, okay? So we tend to have these peaks on either end of the year, meaning buying in January and selling in April or buying in say December and selling in March or buying in March and selling in June, you know, those tend to be better times than buying in say May or June or July and then selling three months later. That's just what history says. That's not what Ben says, it's not what Ben wants, it's just what history says. And as much as we've wanted, as much as we might want Ethereum to make that run to $10,000 immediately, again, the data shows that it's, it's highly unlikely that it's going to happen immediately. I do believe we can ultimately make that move at some point, but we also must recognize that during the summer is not really when Ethereum makes these, these incredible moves. And in fact, what usually happens is as we get later in the year, things start to pick up a little bit. But sometimes people misunderstand what that means. For instance, some people might look at this chart and say, look at this, green, December. That means Ethereum did really well in December of 2016. Well, what it actually means is that if you had bought in December of 2016 and then sold three months later, your ROI would have been this high. Meaning in December, it wasn't really doing a whole lot. But then three months later, your ROI would have been about a 4x. Right, about a, about a, well, let's see, one, two, three, oh yeah, about a 4X or so, okay? Um, and then if you had bought in, say, January of 2017 and then sold uh, three months later, you would have been looking at around a 5X. So the 90-day ROI tends to be the best buying at the very beginning of the year and then also buying at the end of the year. And in the middle of the year, it's more or less humdrum, if you will. I mean, I know some people are really excited about, you know, about a $3,200 Ether, but I gotta tell you guys, I mean, I'm not getting out of bed for a $3,200 Ether when we already saw it go to $4,400, right? I mean, that's the general implication of what I'm trying to show you guys is that, yeah, you know, this is a nice move, but at the same time, we haven't really done anything in a while, okay? Like, we're not gonna look at this and, and say this is a crazy move because I mean, we essentially just repeated what we were already able to do back in March and April and May. We'd like to, do, we'd like to put in new all-time highs, not just repeat the ones we already saw um, because again, this channel is not about day trading or anything like that. I'm not day trading. I have my core positions and I'm letting them ride. And at this point, at this phase of the cycle, we're more or less seeing that, the, you know, and you've probably seen it too, unless you're day trading, which I don't know why you would be, but if you're not and you're just sort of sitting on a core position, you're watching it go up and then down and then up and then it's pulled back recently. It hasn't made that move, you know, up to the upside yet. Will it come? Hopefully. Is it going to happen tomorrow? Probably not. Now, if we go look at, say, the one year ROI, it is an interesting chart because what it shows is that usually most month or most, yeah, most months, your, your one year ROI on Ethereum is positive meaning you are making money, right? Or I should say above one, meaning you're making money. Um, there was 2018 where, you know, clearly buying in say January of 2018, your one year ROI would have been pretty bad, right? Pretty bad. Um, but even then, even if you bought in January 2018, what happened? It was only a matter of time before Ether bailed you out. So I would look at this and say, well, you know, the, the peaks in terms of the one year ROI are probably never gonna reach what it, what it reached over here again. Like we're probably not gonna see a 100X or anything like that in a year, but we've already been able to show that we are able to put in about a 10X, maybe a 12X or a 15X or so within one year. I would not expect a 100X though in, in one year. Right now, recently, it's actually been going back down um, and, and obviously, you know, I mean, the, the ROI is still above one, right? The one year ROI is still above one, but it's not putting in quite as crazy of the gains as it saw earlier this year when compared to buying a year before. Um, and, you know, if we, if we try to mine this data, I, I'm not really sure it's, it's going to be extremely useful. 
Um, one thing we can note is that the, the, the peaks of it tend to be again around either the beginning or the end of the year, right? Like this one was at the end of the year, this one was at the beginning. Um, obviously it, it trailed up going into this year. This one it sort of made that U-shaped again. This one, I don't really know, right? I mean, it, it, it had a pretty, it was around 10X or so early on and then it's been trailing off recently. But again, that's because we had one hell of a bull run. Um, going you know from 2020 going in through 2021 so i think at this point you know we have to look at this chart and say well what what else, what's going to happen in q4 historically accumulate accumulating ether in q4 works out pretty well right i mean that's we're not in q4 yet right note that we're not in q4 yet but historically accumulating ether in q4 your 90 day roi tends to be pretty good um, that doesn't mean if you buy in say November, you should expect it to go up in December. It just means that historically speaking, buying in say November and then selling it in you know early 2022 or something early the next year, um, historic based on history, it would have worked out fairly well. It's worked out the last couple of years. Will it work out this year? I don't know. We'll have to see what happens as we go into Q4. Okay, so far Ethereum's been holding up relatively well against Bitcoin. We also know that it tends to bleed against Bitcoin in Q4. If Bitcoin's going up, it means Ether USD is going up, which is the constellation prize. But if Bitcoin's going down, then Ether Bitcoin and Ether USD are going down. So I can't really say at this point, you know, what exactly will happen in in Q4. I just am pointing out that a lot of times the 90-day ROI, if you're buying Ether in Q4. It tends to go up with time, right? Like October, November, December, up. October, November, December. This one was slightly different, October, November, December, but they were all above one, right? They were all above one. Though this year when October was not above one, November, December quickly got above one. October, not above one. November, December, October, November, December. So again, going into the end of the year got better. Here, all three months were pretty good, October, November, December. Uh, looking at about a 3x or so on your on your investment. It remains to be seen what will happen this year. But we'll sure as hell find out. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember, we do have the premium list. If you want to know how I am navigating these markets, we have access to weekly reports and videos, the Telegram alerts channel, the Telegram chat room, the risk dashboard, the trading view indicators, weekly news summaries, uh, the Into the Cryptoverse app, a ton of stuff, right? A ton of stuff. We're, we're building it out more and more. We're only going to have more and more features as time goes on. Um, so make sure you guys check it out into the cryptoverse.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. Definitely subscribe. If you're not subscribed, click the bell icon to turn on notifications and I will see you next time. Bye.